We were talking about lighter fare for spring, but a lot of you ask us about different cuts of meat, and it's nice to get a lesson out of this. Unbelievable. So yeah. we are going to take apart a pork, sure. and you're going to show us the different pieces. So let's go over there. Let's do it. Let's do that. it. It's so good that we're doing this because oh, yeah. we all have our favorites, but we yes. don't necessarily know what should be used with what or how you should cook different cuts. So we, you've split up a pork. We've got everything but the ribs. That's right, everything right? but the ribs. I mean, th these are the most, uh, uh, well, the most popular cuts that you might find in a supermarket, really. Right. I mean, and you see them because, you know, in a pork cutlets, like this thing here is from the butt, butt side, mm -hmm. so uh, the leg. So you do the pork the cutlets. The, the, well, yeah. the leg is, uh, the, is the butt, okay. right? I mean, yeah. is that okay. all? Yeah. Uh, just, just to be clear, because I want to know where the butt is. Right. They're not human, right? Okay. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all attached. But, you know, I mean, that's right, that's right. But uh, you see, this is a beautiful cut for cutlet, right? I mean, and this one here is one of my favorites, especially if you're making Milanese. Okay. You know, if you're making breaded schnitzels, mm -hmm. yes. whatever, this, this has got a little bit more fat, it's got a little bit more juice, it's got a little bit more lively yeah. meat, it's a little bit yeah. tougher, so when it cooks and you pound it down, it really marinates well, and that is an absolute beautiful cutlet from the pork butt side. And then normally, you can find them generally like this, they sometimes they call them fast fry, but you know, I mean, it is is very uh, is very quick to notice that you know they're using only basically uh, three cuts. You have the the loins, yeah, and uh, you have the short loin, you have the, the the rack, and you have the picnic roast. Okay, for beautiful roast. I mean, this one here mm. seasoned properly, no matter. Right I mean, roasting. this is ready to go. Yeah. I mean, this is fantastic. As a matter of fact, this is going in a pot, and I'm. You got it. There you go. Now we oh, have. Oh, hey, I'm marking up my own uh, knife over here. Now <laughs> with, with this one, then you find that there is a. For instance, this is a short loin and it's a T-bone, right? And okay. this is the same in beef and lamb and all that. But you have the tenderloin on one side and the loin on the other. So what do you do? You know, I mean, obviously you go. You tend to go to a supermarket and you find the tenderloin just yep. like that. And Look that's how the easy lean it is, cut, right? right? That's, that's the, the lean cut, cut right? right? This is the cut that actually Jason likes to use a lot. Uh -huh. So then you take your knife and uh, very easily remove the loin yeah. uh, along with some of the fat but it's very very simple to debone yeah. very very simple and the you right know? knives are important yeah. too right like oh, I mean, you absolutely. have the long knife when you want to carve yeah. right? because you absolutely. want that room to be able to cut it yeah. so yeah. this is it right so I have this bone over here I can make a pork bone soup oh. mm -hmm. and then I can do my little uh, either little fast fries just like that, okay. The tenderloin is right here. Yep. And uh, ten, uh, Jason, you make tenderloin quite a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. I like you know when you could actually yes. take that and wrap it with bacon or something like that right. and slow cook it on the barbecue. So you take a nice lean uh, cut and you wrap it right. with bacon. Is what you're saying? You can stuff it. You can <laughs> stuff it. You can make medallions. You can make medallions. Yeah. You can make medallions. I think he's telling me to stuff it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, yeah. I am a proponent of that. But you know what? I normally would insert a knife right in the middle like this. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then I give it a little spin. And then it's ready to go. And huh? then I give it a little spin, and then I prepare a beautiful stuffing, and oh, I'll, so that's I'll how stuff you do it inside. It. That's how that's I do it. That's very neat and tidy. Yeah. Yeah, getting off track, tra uh, topic, yeah. but yeah. what you do, you take your filling, you roll it in cling film to a very small, yes. freeze there it. There you go. Oh. Yeah, that's just, right. That's right. right and just oh. shove it right in. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So that's another that's cut right smart. there. You had the fast fries like that, perfectly fine. Otherwise, you can find that there are chops a little bit thicker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, just like that. Yeah. Then, if you want to go really a double chop yeah. like that, you can do the same trick as for the as for the um, um, the tenderloin. Are you cooking it differently? The thinner so you the slice it. Or the, the thicker you right. slice it, what does that mean no, we, um, in terms of cooking? We are it? going to use these ones, yeah. okay, for the next segment that okay. I'm going to do. I'm going to do a recipe with that. So I'm going to cut another one of that thickness because I'm going to use it. Three little scallopini like this. This is a beautiful portion, right? But I think yeah. a good way, too, is yeah. that, you know, the thinner it is, the higher the temperature, the shorter the cooking. And exactly. Mm. Right? So it cooks really fast. Now, if okay. you have it a little bit thicker like this, then you need to marinate it a little bit, right? Okay. And the thick, thick one like that, you marinate even overnight with yeah. lots oh, of flavor, yeah. lots right. of. Uh, you cooking. can brine it. This stuff here can be done on a cast iron frying pan, mm. much better than actually putting it on a, on a barbecue. Okay. For the barbecue, you need to do this kind of stuff because they have a bone in there. The flavor really yeah. absorbs a lot better. The bone gets a little bit scored and charred from the. You the, actually need to, um, you need to barbecue it like that? You oh. can. Well, you can you have to season it always. Right, Don't right, right. barbecue meat without season. I season yeah. everything, but I mean right. that's my background, right? That's, that's good yeah. because it does. Yeah. When you cook on the barbecue, it gives yeah. more flavor. It gives right. a lot of yeah. flavor. Right. Yeah. So, you know. Right. Okay, good lesson. So, I like that. I especially like that, the little getting into the tenderloin there. That is so good. Look at that.